Hi, this is Heidi Caswell with WordPress 101 for Boomers, and this is part two on using the Weaver theme for your WordPress site. Now we had gone ahead and we uploaded our header image, and the header image was too tall, so we went into theme options, and we changed the header images, the size, to fit our image that we had there and then I had to go back in and re-upload the image so it would have the image of the right size and this is what it looks like pretty good and we're going to go ahead and go back and look at some more options here we are this is under the header menu options when you go to the weaver admin and under header options and you can change the colors of your bar menu some of the things there I don't really see need to change those it's looking pretty good the, uh, we hid the title description because the title and the description of the site is on our image itself. Uh, we also I like to have the header image linked to the website so that when anyone clicks on it, it goes right to the home page. Um, these are the different changes, and then you just hit save. I'm going to go back on the theme page, and we're going to go to the background tab. Okay, here is where you change the background. Let me show what the background is on the side. See this color back here? This is the background image. And it also has it sort of darker on the top and light at the bottom. And this just makes it look a little nicer. This theme has rounded corners, and I kind of like the rounded corners. Uh, but the different things can have different things. But anyway, we're going to work on this side color. You can choose a color for a different color to put on there if you're not really happy with that color. We can go around and we can pick another color that is uh, somewhere around what we're looking for. If that's closer to what we're looking for, there's a color. We can go ahead and click Save Changes and see what it looks like. Okay, here's the Save Changes. It's the darker here and it's at the top and lighter here. This is the color we picked and it's got this darker shadow on the top. And you can just change them however you want, as often as you want. Or you can choose a file here and upload it to your website and use that as a background image. I suggest if you upload a file to use on the background image that it's not a real large file so your site will run up closer and that you make it seamless so that where it touches each other it uh, kind of blends into each other and you don't have jagged spots on, this, on, the, uh, on your background on the side. Let me show you an example. Here's an example. I had taken the uh, section of the butterfly wings and uh, I made it seamless, and that's what you're having for the background here on this website. And I like the way that one came out. Uh, with my WordPress site, as much as the the way the header is, it's got it's really bright and shows up. I wanted to have not such a you know more of a plain background on that one. And you can see that there. I didn't want it to distract from the other here. But the cool thing is, it's up to you. And you can make your site look however it is you want it to look with the header in the background. And Weaver makes it very easy to make those changes. 